Hello ladies and gentlemen, let's talk Superman and Lois. We've had our hiatus, but we're back. Bizarro's in a Bizarro World, I think this one was titled. It's basically Bizarro World. This was the best episode of the entire season, of the entire two seasons so far. I keep telling people to watch this show. And there's so many people that are reluctant to do it. I get it, because it's on the CW. It's a really good show! It's a really good show. Everyone everyone that I recommend that actually finally watches it goes, yeah, I really like that, actually. Uh, strong recommendation to watching this. Genuinely. This was a, this is such a good episode. Near, it, it, it was very, very, very good. For, for those that are invested in this show now, everyone will say like it was near perfect. I have one gripe with this. And my one gripe is the... When Superman flies through the portal... His costume doesn't fit properly. Now, I'm aware he's wearing padding, right? We know Tyler Oakland wears padding. And normally it really fits. And it's fine. But when it doesn't, it's really noticeable. And it didn't really fit this time. It was really weird. I don't know what to, I don't know what to, what to make of that. But it, it you, I sort of overlooked it, obviously. But that's literally the, the tiniest of criticisms. All of like 10 seconds, and now we're going to talk everything that was positive. Holy shit, great to see Bizarro World. He smack obviously, it's full spoilers. He, sp he goes through the portal, and then he's in like empty space. He's in like a void between universes, I'm guessing. And then he smashes through another portal, and he turns up with a square sun, a square earth, the sun is red. Everything is backwards. It's Bizarro World. Oh, just so good. So good. Uh, square Earth? Super weird. And then he flies, obviously, to the fortress. He sees Superman's greatest achievements, the story of Kal-El. And it's interesting because, again, remember, it's backwards. It's everything that he wasn't. So this Superman lords over his achievements. You know, he's he, the Fortress of Solitude is also like a museum. Uh, we we even see uh, the city of I think is it Candor or something like that. The city of Candor that's in there, a little hologram, loads of holograms everywhere. Seeing all of his achievements, I would have loved to have seen a little bit more. That I was really interested in that. But nice little Easter egg of the you know Brainiac and Candor. I, I swear it's Candor. I could be wrong. I think it's Candor anyway. Uh, and then he sees his other world mum. Uh, they speak a little bit. He obviously says, you know, sorry. He, he tried to right the wrongs from his world here, blah, 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 etc. And he's dead now. And that was quite tragic. You know, it, 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 is, it is. It was a good, tragic episode. Then, ladies and gents, um, Jordan, uh, no, Jonathan, Jonathan, sorry, flies in. And in this world, of course, Jonathan has powers. Uh, and then they fly back to the farm and we start to go chapter by chapter. So we have the story of um, Jonathan. And this is also the story of Superman as well in some regards. And it's the, it's the sort of rise of Jordan, uh, Jonathan's powers. And how that sort of came around. And you can see this Superman uh, looks normal by the way. Looks completely normal. He's, he's going to massive gala events and loads of publicity. He's basically like, you know, he, he's a celebrity. And and whilst he's taking selfies with some people, a guy's about to fall down, and Jonathan blasts up into the sky to save him. And that was really cool. I liked that. And then it's interesting because they, the reason why they fell out, because this is part of it, they fall out and they sort of go their separate ways. And this is what leads to the downfall of Bizarro Superman. One of the reasons why they fell out was uh, Superman wanted... Jonathan to work with him, not go out alone, uh, which is similar actually to how Jordan is going in the original Earth, the round Earth. So that was interesting, I thought. Uh, and anyway, Lois Lane comes in. We start to learn about Lois Lane and the interaction, and again, the downfall of Superman. The downfall of Superman is told all throughout this. So then Lois Lane comes in, bizarro Lois Lane. Oh, everyone's all gothy in this, by the way, which is funny, I guess. Um, and the actress who plays Lana Cushing looks fucking banging in this. She she works in a bar and she's wearing like tight latex pants. She's got a rocking bod. Yeah, wood, wood plow. Anyway, um, so 
Lois Lane comes in, they're talking, and it's revealed, again, we tell her story, it's revealed that um, her and Superman fall out, uh, Superman is never there for anyone because he's too busy, he's doing all the events, he's doing all these things, uh, and he's also using kryptonite, which I'm, I'm, I don't know what that is, how he's using kryptonite, I don't understand that because he... Um, maybe he's boosting on XK, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Um, that part, I don't understand. I was a little bit confused with that. But this leads to his downfall. He gets cuts all over him. He goes pale. And his eyes go vibrantly blue, which we obviously saw. But this led to the, some of the best acting from Tyler Hoechlin I've seen, actually. Uh, he did such a great job in this. He... After they fall out and Lois Lane leaves, he starts screaming and shouting, and you know you could see real genuine pent up rage. It was really, really good. Actually, it was fantastic, genuinely great. Love that. Anyway, turns out Jonathan joined the cult uh, of Ali Ali Alston, and that's why he um, distanced himself more and more. He's there to go and grab the pendants, so on and so forth. It, there's so much that goes on in this episode. They've really pieced all the pieces together. So Anderson is in this. Uh, Anderson's other self realizes he's got the pendants. They try to join up for some weird reason. Jonathan kills the bizarro Anderson. And then Anderson, fueled up on XK from our normal world, flies off quickly. He's been hiding out with uh, Lois Lane. They don't understand each other because obviously he's speaking backwards, but forwards, etc. And then from there, uh, Anderson comes in when Jonathan uh, is beating up uh, Superman because he finds out he's working with Ali Alston. And then it just comes to this big culmination of Anderson. You know, Anderson realized why Superman didn't tell him all of these things in his world. It's like, because you've got a family, you're protecting them. Yes. And he, and, he, and he said, sorry, and all this kind of stuff. And it really wrapped that up in a really nice bow. It was really well done. And then it, Ali Alston starts combining into one entity and then weirdly gives the pendant away because she's still combining so I guess that's a process which is initiated and then can't be stopped I'm guessing but she's got new powers uh, this uh, interesting um, Morgan Edge uh, Tal Rowe in this is obviously friends with his brother and all this again because backwards it was such a good episode my god the right was great and then he marries Lana Cushing Obviously not Lana Cushing anymore. And that's where we see her in the bar with the tight, uh, like, latex PVC uh, outfit. Oh, gothed up. It was, yeah, it was good. Um, and anyway, Tal Ro then realises that he shouldn't be doing this and he should be protecting the Superman now and helping his brother out. He, you know, he had the chance before and he's not going to miss this one now. So he saves the day, sort of. Uh, and then Jonathan f flies through the portal to go get his other self, which we've already seen. And then I'm presuming Superman's going to come in and save the day. But we still have Ali Alston as this new entity. New being. We don't know what she is. So it's such a good episode. Great, fantastic writing. I sh I cannot recommend this enough. The reason why it's literally just me here, no, uh, uh, nothing else. There's so much stuff I can't do with CW products. They just copyright claim out the wazzo. And uh, it's just a pain in the ass. So you just have to deal with me sat here. I'm sorry. Soz. But watch it. If you have watched it, let me know what you think. Cheers, guys. Take care.